Can you explain the new haircut a little bit? I was just getting sick of it, taking care of it every day. A little less maintenance? Yeah. What's uh, what's this spring been like for you? I would imagine you're not taking too many reps uh, out there. Yeah, n not much uh, physical reps, but me and Adolphus have been down working with uh, Vince and Coach Johnson on bags. So we've definitely been getting our work. Uh, this past week I've been doing a lot more contact. So uh, I'm definitely getting back in the hang of it. Uh, really sore from it all, getting back hitting again. But just because I haven't been hitting much doesn't mean I haven't been getting work. Uh, we've been working real hard down there. And I think this spring's been really good for the D-line because we're working harder than we've ever worked before. When, when you say bags, what do you mean by that? Bag drills, flipping our hips, just w working different drills with coaches. And what do you get out of that? Um, just as much as we make it, you know, as hard as we go, we it's a, it's a lot of pass rushing work. Joey, when you win a national championship and you're a first team All-American, what else is there? Um, just keep improving because obviously I could do better. Um, I could always improve my game and we could win again, so that's always the goal. Where can you definitely get better do you, as you look back on last year? Where, where, where do you need improvement? Uh, I can't really pick one one spot in my game that I could get better at because I, I think I could improve at every part of my game, and, and that's the plan, not just working on one thing, but getting better in every aspect of my game. You, you're going to have the, the tree in Buckeye Grove, and you're going to be you know part of a national championship team forever. Do you think about legacy at all in this point in your career, whether it's in the record books or just doing things that will help you be remembered here? Um, not really individually. I just I just want this team to be remembered as something great, and we definitely will for last year. But um, new team, new year, and uh, we're, we're trying to repeat, obviously. Joey, one of the things that, that Urban has harped on the past several months has been defensive line, not necessarily the starting group, but the depth. Yeah. How big a deal have you all tried to make of that? The fact that he has talked about that yeah, last, last year we we didn't feel too comfortable with putting uh, some backups in. Obviously, we had um, we had Tommy to go in there, and we really didn't have many other people we felt comfortable putting in the game. But this year is a completely different feel. We have a bunch of guys ready to go, a bunch of ends playing really well right now, and the inside guys. We got Joel Hale back from the O line. He was doing great, but. Um, yeah, and we're all we're all in such great shape that we'll we'll be ready to rotate. What does Joe bring? What does Joe bring to the table? Uh, just a just a passion and energy, and how much he's improved under Coach Johnson just in this last couple of weeks of spring is crazy. He's in great shape, and uh, yeah, we're really excited to have him out there. As a defensive end, do you, when you want to incorporate maybe a new move or something, do you actually practice it out here, or do you work on it on your own, maybe? In your room. Um, <laughs> You're still yeah, the same. I mean, Keep it secret. walking around the streets, I feel like if we see any other D linemen walking around the streets, they'll just be flipping their hips and using their hands on people walking down the, the yeah. sidewalk or walls and everything. So uh, it's pretty much in your it's pretty much in your mind 24 seven. So you're always working it. Seriously. Yeah. I mean, you're seriously. thinking about new ways to do things. Yeah. Every yeah. every time we run into each other in the hallway, we always flip against each other pretty much every single time. Where's the strangest place you ever thought of a new move? Um, not really new moves, but uh, it'll be random out at night and there'll be two people walking in a row and I'll flip on one and then flip on the <laughs> other and just keep walking. And the reaction is? Uh, yeah. Probably a little scared or shocked. <laughs> Joey, will the, will the shrug return this season or will it be something new? It's, no, it's got to return, right? I don't know. I don't know if you retire it or no, at least one more year. You thought the hair was sacred too. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a kind of sad, but I like it. Heading into a season where you're being talked about as you know a top draft prospect, how do you deal with those expectations? Uh, not really thinking about it much. I'm just I have my my goals set, and just to get better and to be a great team again this year. And uh, I feel like if I just go out and work every day, everything will fall into place. Do you read any of that stuff? Or? Um, I, I, obviously, you hear about it and see it around, but it doesn't really get to my head. Joey, when you say that you can improve all aspects of your game, is there anything from last season that you felt like you didn't do well? Um, yeah, a lot of the times I was, I was just doing my own thing just because I felt like I always had to go and make that play to change the game. But watching film a lot, it got better throughout the season, obviously, but watching the film, I see that 
plays could just fall into my lap, and as long as I'm doing my job, I'll make even more plays. I see five or six sacks that I could have had because I went inside and scrambled outside or something like that. Right. So just a change in mindset, not a, not a Yeah, 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 just to stick to the game plan and, and have faith that it'll work out. Joe, who are the DNs you were talking about that you think have made a lot of progress um, coming on that you feel good about depth-wise? Well, Ted Kwan's the other starting end right now, and he's yeah. he's doing an unbelievable job this spring, just out there killing it, going hard every day. And we're also happily surprised to see him doing that. and. I'm excited to have another end like that on the other side. Yeah, you mean just a dynamic guy? What do you, what do you oh, mean? I mean? Just speed, he's physical. He's just he's just a freak out there. And uh, yeah. Jalen Holmes and uh, Sam Hubbard, my little proteges. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're they're doing great too. They're out there working. Sam's got so unbelievably uh, better. Just he started as a. What did he even start safety? as? Yeah. He's a safety, went to linebacker, then tight end, and we finally got him to this right position. And it, it's crazy to see how much better he's gotten. Jalen, too. Okay. Joey, yeah. thank you.